Here we've got a problem with a fixed support. We're going to assume this piece here is like a rod and it's attached to a fixed support here at A. What we want to do is we want to find our components of reaction. Now notice we've got a force vector that's applied here at the end and then we've got this couple moment that's also on here. First thing we want to do, we want to draw out the free body diagram. So let's do that. Represents this rod. All the forces act on that. Now let's go ahead and put the forces on here. We've got this force vector. Let's put that on here. So 20i minus 40j minus 30k. And I didn't have any units on this, but that's pounds. All right, and then we've got this 50 pound force or foot pound couple moment right here. Now we've got those. Let's go over to the fixed support at A. Remember what the fixed support does. If it's fixed, if you think about a concrete pillar or something that's welded or one of those cell phone towers, anything like that, those things are not going to move at all. Right? So if you think about them, you don't want them swaying in the wind, moving all over the place. So let's assume those are all fixed supports where they don't move at all. So no translation, no rotation. That means the fixed support has to provide three forces, one in each direction to prevent the translation. So that gives us our AX, AY, and AZ. I'm just assuming these positive directions. They might not be drawn correctly, but that's okay. Just assume a direction. These three things prevent the translation. Now I need to prevent rotation. And I don't want rotation about any of the axes. That means our support is going to produce a moment about the z-axis. This couple moment here counteracts any other moment uh, that we would have about the z-axis. Cancel it out. Do the same thing with the y-axis. So we'll have M-A-Y and then the x-axis, so M-A-X. So again, this one here gets rid of any moments. It cancels it out about the y-axis. This couple moment here will prevent any rotation about the x-axis. Now look at this diagram and make sure you are going to be able to solve it. Remember, you only have six equations available to you. And how many unknowns do we have? We've got six, right? We've got three forces, three moments. Six moments, or six moments, six equations, six unknowns. So we should be able to solve this one. All right, if you have something where you have eight unknowns, but you only have six equations, you've done something wrong and you need to reevaluate your supports. All right, so let's go ahead and get to our equilibrium equations. And by the way, on this one, we weren't given a mass or a weight, so we're just gonna leave it off. Now let's look at the sum of the forces in the x direction. We need to set those equal to zero. And I'm saying to the Actually, not to the right, but coming out is positive. So we've got AX. That's in our X direction. Now, do we have anything else that needs to go in that equation? What about this? That needs to go in here. So let's add 20. Then we set it equal to 0. One unknown, one equation we can solve for AX. AX is then negative 20 pounds. Put a box around it. That's one of the answers we wanted. Let's go to the y equation. Now y is this horizontal line. How many forces do we have in that direction? We've got a y and then of course down here we got negative 40. So we're gonna have a y minus 40 equals 0. Fortunately we can solve for a y. That gives us 40. So we got 40 pounds. Box that one up. And last force equation. Let's look at the z direction. By the way, to the right's positive and then up is positive. In the z direction, we've got az. And we also have negative 30. So az is going to be 30 pounds. 
Now look at your signs. We've got a negative and then two positives. This negative in the x direction just means we picked the wrong direction. And if you look at your problem, that makes sense, right? Because this force is positive 20, and we drew our force as being positive. If I have two positive forces in that x direction, I'm going to have translation in the x direction. I don't want that. I need something to counteract this force here and cancel it out. So my AX needs to be going in the opposite direction. That's why we get this negative. All right. So really, AX should have been like that. But don't go back and change your diagram. Just leave it the way you originally drew it. You just know if this is a negative, it should have been going the other way. Now let's look at our moments. You want to pick a point that will be useful for finding moments about. The best point for this problem is going to be point A. All right. So let's look here. And counterclockwise is still positive. We want to do the vector formation for moments. That's easiest for 3D problems. And we'll set it equal to 0. All right, so first I'm going to find the moment due to this force here. Okay. So remember, we want to take the moment about A. I need to find this vector right there. All right, so I'm going over 3 in the y direction. I'm going down 2 in the z direction. That's going to give me a position vector of 3j minus 2k. And then we cross it with this force vector. So 20i minus 40j minus 30k. When you do the cross products for all that, you get negative 170i minus 40j minus 60k. And this is going to be foot pounds. Now think about what this is telling you. This is telling you that this force produces a clockwise moment of a magnitude of 170 about the x-axis, right? And we got a clockwise moment with a magnitude of 40 about the y-axis, clockwise moment of magnitude 60 about the z-axis. All right, so we've got to counteract all of these things. Keep that in mind. So this is the moment about A due to our force. All right, that's what this is. Now let's go to this couple moment. This has to be added in. We need it in vector form though. Now for this, do I need to find a position vector? No, we don't need a position vector for this because it's a couple moment. This thing can act wherever it wants to act. And it's not going to change it. We do need to get the unit vector here. If you look, this is rotating about the z axis because z is parallel right there. And this is drawn clockwise. So here we'll have negative 50k. And then one more thing we need to do. What about all of these moments up here? Those couple moments. We have to have those taken into account because that's what's counteracting these things. So let's create a moment. I'm just going to call it MA for the support, so MAS. All we need to do here is just put MAXI plus MAYJ plus MAZK. Basically, I'm assuming these are all counterclockwise moments. Whether they are or not, I don't know at this point, and I don't really care right now. Just assume they're positive, go from there. Now we've got our three moment equations. Let's sum the components up. If we do that, we get negative 170. There's our 170, that's from here. And then the other i component is going to be plus max. Those are both i's. Now let's go to the j components. We got negative 40. So we'll have plus, negative 40. And then the other J component is M-A-Y. We're assuming positive. So put J. K components, 60, the negative 50. 
and amazing. Now we've got that. Now how many equations do we get here? We get three, right? One for this, this, and then this. So let's break it down into the components. Negative 170 plus max equals zero. We can solve this one now. We can find max. So max is going to be 170 foot pounds. Okay, so see the couple moment produced by the fixed support is counteracting these other moments about the x-axis to prevent any rotation. That's what we get here. And we got a positive, so that means us assuming counterclockwise up here was correct. All right, so J, let's go to the J component. We got negative 40 plus MAY, set that equal to zero. Here you can solve for MAY, you get 40, let's put pounds. So our fixed support is going to provide a couple moment of 40 foot pounds. That's going to counteract the other moments about the y axis due to the force uh, that was applied. And then finally, k. k, you got negative 110 plus maz equals 0. So the couple moment you get is positive 110 foot pounds. All right, so now you get that. So this couple moment that's produced by that fixed support, it counteracts that 50 pound force, or pound force, 50 foot pound couple moment and the moment produced about the z-axis due to this force here. And these two are both positive also, so counterclockwise moment was the right assumption. So that's how you go about looking at a fixed support. You gotta remember to add these couple moments in that are produced by the support. This is the main error that students make when they get down to the moments, they leave these things out. They have to be included because you have to solve for them. So make sure you include those uh, in your equations and then hopefully everything will work out great. All right, I'll see y'all next time.